It's live for the post-Thanksgiving extravaganza from Studio C. Welcome, everyone, to another exciting, what shall we call it, 3D soiree. Very good to see you all. We have a full house. Everyone's here. Everyone's dear to me. That's so, so nice. Jeremy, Rod, Brian, Christina, Chris. And we have um, Julia, Steve. Anyone else? No, I think that is it. That is a full, full house if I've ever seen one. And Brian, of course, who panic bought Clothe 3D yesterday. I'm so proud of you, buddy. This is exciting. And well done for putting that top together on Patreon. That is very, very cool. Awesome. So nice to see you all. I really don't have a big concept for today. I just thought, yeah, I, I have a little bit of work to do and it's always nice to hang out with you. So maybe we'll do a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of a mixture of a little bit of everything. So first, let me actually show you what I did earlier today. That is, that's a good start. Let's let, let that be the beginning of it. So um, music today by Sarah, the instrumentalist. Is it instrumentalist? No, it's the instrumentalist. Very clever. Very clever. Have we, there we go. There she is. I'll go and put up my little pointy device and I will show you, I have also bought something in the whole Black Friday leading up to whatever kind of big sale thing. And that is that horse anim set on the Unreal Marketplace by none other than Melbourne S or Melbourne or whatever you want to call it. And it's currently, it's, so there's two versions of this. It's really a Unity product and that's available for $60 normally. And he has also made an Unreal version of it, but it's not as capable as the Unity version. And by his own admission, he says, well, it's because I don't know Unreal that much that well. And so he, he says it's, it's available slightly cheaper on the Unreal Marketplace than it is for Unity because it doesn't contain the logic. Apparently on the, on, on, in Unity, the whole, he, so he makes horses with animations and he also makes rider animations for the horses. And I thought that would just be so, so awesome for a little Western project. So it's on sale on the Unreal Marketplace. It's also on sale on Unity, 30 on Unity, 20 on Unreal Marketplace, I thought I'm gonna nab it and have a look at it. And this was, to, to, this morning I spent about an hour or so having a look at what's actually in the project and what can I do with it. So <laughs> this is it. Let's go, we don't have to open those. This is what it looks like in the gray box. There's a horse, which is, you know, awesome. And he, you know, kind of just stands there and we'll have a look at him being in motion in a moment. But hey, one of those things. I'll have a look how I can perhaps in a future update incorporate that into my little Polygon Western project. And hello, Joe. So nice to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Belated Thanksgiving. Welcome to our little post-Thanksgiving soiree. Me too. And I thought it would be really nice if I could make it happen that I can make these guys walk. So I, I have made something this morning and I can show you the logic that I've employed there. But yeah, literally this guy made horses and I can now run around. And if I am ever capable of adding the logic to it, I can probably make this guy jump on the horse and make the horse run around. So far, I've been able to make the horse drink when I press a button. So that's very nice. And then, you know, he just goes and stands there and is idle again. So, but if I can do this with a button, and this is just one animation that I'm curing, literally with one button, I can also do it with other animations. So I'll have to show you a quick look around the project just to see what's there. And then uh, I'll see what, um, it's, we're not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna take you around to see what's in the project and then see if we wanna do that at one, at a later point. So yeah, look, horse drinks. There we go. Christina, what's not your fault? I think I must uh, I must call uh, Mr. Beard Goblin. Hello, another one to add to the full house. Very nice to see you. <laughs> yes, Malba's horse anim set, I believe that's what he calls it. Christina, what was what were you what is not your fault? It's I bet it's claw related. I bet it is. Your claw purchase, yeah, I, th I thought it was related to that. I'm still up in the air. Shall I go get Marvel's Designer 10 for 120 or sign up for claw for 225? Kind of liking the idea of claw, but I also need to watch my purse string, so I, s I still haven't decided. Or option three, stick with Marvel's Designer 
It will spend nothing. That's also an idea. But yes, Clo offer until the 30th, we still have that time. So let's have a quick look in what's actually included in this, in this set. So there's the horses. We have blend spaces for the horses. We have common in-place and root motion animations. So the blend spaces, he hasn't given us an animation blueprint. He does have a blend space for that, for when the horse, uh, for when the horse is in locomotion state. So that is the blend space. I don't know how familiar you are with, with Unreal Engine, but uh, the blend space takes care of blending animations together depending on parameters that we give the horse. So make the horse walk faster, he gallops faster, make him slower, he gallops slower or walks or in fact stays in one place. So that's what um, blend space commonly brings together. And then an animation blueprint is the thing that uses a blend space to get these things you know, to, to use input from a gamepad or from the keyboard to put that into the horse and then move the actual actor around. So yes, that's that's how that works. That's how that that this that's how that works. Do you know I was thinking about this um Brian and Christina actually about this clothing. So in an ideal world or in it normally you would have just um, carried on with your annual clothes subscription for 450 and Brian and I wouldn't have bought it. Easy as that. That's usually what, have, what would have happened. You need it for business. Brian and I were hobbyists. Would be nice to have it, but hey. So now what happened? This deal comes up. I get super excited about it and you buy it for half price because you think, hey, that's an awesome idea. Brian also buys it and if I also buy it, the company has actually made more money than had that not happened. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's just an interesting dynamic that's happened there. Even though the product is reduced, more people buy it, so they make more cash than if they don't reduce the prices. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and Brian, I'm totally with Christina that you're gonna have so much fun with that. It's it's seriously a cool toy. And um, where can I, oh no, actually that was, was that in here? I think that was in the locomotion thing, wasn't it? Was it? Yes, there we go. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. I'll go zoom in a little bit more here that we can see more of the horse. These are all the animations that you can queue. They're kind of behind my face here, but this is a this is a little browser and you can you can go and uh, see all the animations that are included in this pack, which is kind of kind of awesome. So these are death animations, which is, you know, sad. But you know, this is, you know, this is um, drinking animations. This is when he enters the water, so he can literally jump in the water and swim. There's also if he should fall from up high, his little ear wiggles and stuff, that's cool. Or when he falls from up low, it's basically when he jumps off a mountain. And then a blend space would bring all this together. There's another idol here. So idol is this, he moves the, the tail a little bit and stuff. You can also shake his head like this. <laughs> And so currently I can queue any of these animations if and when I want. And I can also make an AI queue them so far. But what I've not been able to do is put all these together into an animation blueprint that, you know, if I if I tuck at something, he just goes and looks left or looks right or, you know, makes one step or something. I've not been able to put that into an intelligent logic. And that's partly because I don't know that much about um, about uh, Unreal Engine. He can do this as well. That's cool. So you can, you know, if you know, if I need that that horse to jump up, he can do that. And then, of course, he comes in different materials as well. He can also swim around. This would be him floating in the water now. <laughs> and Brian, if you like, we can totally do some more Clo and Marvelous Designer later, so after we finish this, and after I've done my YouTube emotes, with which I need all of your help, by the way. Ooh, there we go. He jumps. So yes, these are all, this is, these are FBXs essentially. And you get that, you get the horse, 20 bucks. I mean, the great thing is the developer says, hey, I don't really know that much about uh, Unreal Engine yet, but as I find out more, I will flesh out the product. And if we get updates, they're included for free. So it's really, really cool. Woohoo, go for it, horse. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, you have a terabyte, really, for 12 months. Oh, Christina, that is gonna so come in handy. A terabyte high drive, that is so cool. Very good. How did you wangle that deal? Congrats. <laughs> that is very nice. 
And can you jump? Yes, woo, he can jump. Look at that. Horse jumps. So enough with the horse. How did I implement the logic here? So since these are all FBXs and not animation blueprints, whoops, I'll just quickly show you what I did here on the horse blueprint. Uh, this is here, I think. Horse blueprint. I've actually used the game con uh, uh, controller for that. This is the this is where you would set default values for the look and feel. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. Uh, but essentially, in my in my third person my player controller that's it i've devised i've devised some horse actions and uh, one is idle and one is drink and uh, idle is kind of is, is there by default it's there all the time but this one here the the drink one is uh, I've, essentially i'm grabbing the i'm grabbing all the actors of the horse class in my scene getting the first one because currently i only have one of them and on it i'm gonna go and run a function on the horse which is called horse drink i'm doing that because the player controller is the one that accepts input in which i can set up these actions here that's why i've done that and it's just to test around inside horse we then have these functions here horse idle and horse drink mainly horse drink and horse drink that looks a little bit more crazy so let me talk you through it this is something i was testing turns out i don't really need it so ignore that horse drinks is where the function begins all it does is it plays an animation and the one that is that the animation is horse drink and we're going to cue this on literally all the components that make up the horse namely all of these because if you only cue that on the uh, on the skeletal mesh then it's only the horse but not the saddle and not the reins and not the armor and all that so we need to have that cute on all of them and then the horse will drink and the drinking animation actually takes a little bit of time so in this case it takes about three or four seconds and i need to really wait for that animation to be finished before i can start the idle animation again with the blend space that would all be always the animation blueprint that would be all way way easier but um, there's a reason for why i couldn't make that happen i'll tell you about that so then once the animation has been queued we go and queue something called wait for horse and wait for horse is uh, a custom event i'm doing that because i can't call a delay in a function i have to do that outside a function because a function is supposed to finish immediately even on a background thread that's that's how and why i'm doing that i'm waiting then four seconds before i go and switch back to the regular animation which is horse idle and horse idle is looping and therefore that's just you know what the horse is doing it's just continuously loops plays that animation there we go and then the result is that I can go in and press a button and say, hey, horse, go drink something. Horse goes and drinks. <laughs> yeah, so if I find a more intelligent way of bringing these things together, I will put that into the little Polygon Western project because that would be really, really cool. And all the rider animations for the Unreal Skeleton are also included. So this is going to be really, really cool. <laughs> but we're not going to do that today because I don't know much about it. Rider animations, let me show you, let me give you a quick look around the rider animation. So they're all here. This, these are the horse animations, but there's also the rider for the mannequin version one and two. I don't really know what the difference is. But yes, if I open one of these, then I can go and uh, select between them all. So imagine this guy now sitting on the horse and he can literally go, uh, just go, you know, rocking on the horse looking left or right and these are all things that you'd have to bring together with um, with with an animation blueprint really you can also go and you can die Ugh. don't know what that is <laughs> but there's just so many animations dismount there we go you can just go off the horse <laughs> continuously dismount to the other side as well good stuff that that works as well dismount from the front yes with one leg over that's also cool left and right so malbus if you're watching this oh my god you've put so much effort into making this happen i would love it if we can get this somehow working in unreal engine and if i find out you find out i i assure you that 
So lots of stuff that is, um, and on the Unity thing, it's already, it's already, uh, <laughs> it's already hooked up. So on the Unity thing, we have a rider logic here. Oh, that's trotting. That's good. And because this works on the Unreal Skeleton, it'll also work on anything that's retargeted to the Unreal Skeleton. It's very cool. There we go. That is what I've been playing around with this morning. I see the horse one more time because I really like the horse. Oh yeah, one other thing I haven't uh, I haven't talked about is the materials. So materials for the horse we do have we do have a lot, and they can be set up in four material zones. Uh, best show you this. There we go. Four material zones here for the eye and element one. I think is the main on the other side. So look at him this way. The main, then we have the rest of the horse, and then we've got a mystery zone that I don't really know what it is. So uh, the eye, I'm going to leave the eye um, untouched, but the second one here, though element one, let's go and go into the material. There's lots of them here. So there's there's the regular ones, and there's the poly art ones. So there's a like kind of kind of a low poly version of the horse included. Let me see if I can do this. So this is now the hair anything hair in here no actually so I don't I don't really know how to apply those off the bat <laughs> I'm sure it's possible but we can use other hair 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 there we go maybe blonde so how you do that in Unreal Engine is you click on you select the thing in the content browser and then you head over here to that little uh, these these two things go together. So this is reveal whatever this material is in the content browser and this little arrow means apply whatever selected in the content browser to this zone. So if I do that then we go and see different blonde mane there. And I can do the same with maybe um, hair brown. Oh no, horse actually. Now I need the, the horse material. Horse material maybe grey. So then I go and click this and then we have grey horse. Or if we wanted a different horse, we can have, you know, a brown horse. So there's variations in the horses, endless variations. Same for the saddle. And then the last materials on, I don't know what it is. So there we go. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> so funny. Oh, so same thing on Ionos. You just go, well, fine. If I can't upgrade, I might just go sign up for a new product and that'll give me that discount. Crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Right, right. Good. I remember when I was with them, Christina, they they were always extremely nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased you went with them and you've had good experiences with them. So yeah, very good. Nice one. One terabyte high drive for free. That is great. It's like getting Dropbox for free for a year. So that's my horse. Let's go see the see the brown horse drink one more time. And then we're going to go and do YouTube emotes. When I say emotes, it's just a little amendment. It'll be, it'll be 10, 15 minutes tops. Brown horse goes and drinks. <laughs> so cute. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. When I load a product and it kind of works, I'm, you know, I'm... I'm kind of happy with that. Righty. Thanks, Unreal Engine. You've been great. <laughs> I think we might do more Unreal Engine stuff next week. That might be nice. Oh, yes. And just to show you the product, now that I've talked so much about it, where is the product and how do you find it and where is it? It's called Horse Anim Set. And it's by... Malba S or by Malbas. Is it just called Horse Anim Set? Uh, maybe I can't find it anymore. Where is he? Malba Z. Horse Anim Set. This is it. Currently nineteen ninety nine. And he gives you a demonstration on on Vimeo here, and he explains his reasoning, and he's already released an update. So I'm very very excited about this horse anim set there we go since 96 wow that has been a long time 
And I totally agree, Christina, long-term customers deserve a deal just as much or even more so than the, um, the, the customers who come in new. You know, it's like this whole, this whole sign up for a brand new phone deal. You get a free phone. You go, yeah, how about me? Having been with your phone company for so long, do I get a deal? Or... No, loyalty is not what is rewarded anymore. What a shame.